Cat Miller. Hi, I'm Melissa Archer. <laughs> and we're here today with Passionate Living. And I have my compadre with me today. I love this. Usually I drag Rosina to do the opens oh, and closes. Oh, and I'm so honored to be dragged today. <laughs> I know, right? This is great. Yes. We have a really great show for you today. Yes. What, what are we going to do today? We're going to go to the Erie County Fair and to the concert series in Bidwell Park. Oh my gosh. That's what we're doing today. That's so much fun. Yes. <laughs> and now we're going to go to Los Angeles to meet oh. this cool dude, Michael Boddicker. Oh. We had part one last week. Very good. And Michael has worked with everyone from Burt Backrat, Lionel Richie, Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, you name it. Wow. He, we've heard his music that Everywhere. he has either composed or played on through the 80s and 90s and beyond. And oh my God. He's amazing. You're going to love him. You're going to have so much fun. Oh my God. So it was fun. so much fun. <laughs> and then you're going to come on and talk about it. Yeah. Something. So I'm going to be talking about back to school anxiety tips on how to prevent those, those that anxiety for our children and for ourselves. So make sure you don't miss that and we'll see you then. Yeah, we're going to have a great show. So yeah. buckle your seatbelts and get ready for an amazing journey into passionate, passionate living. living. <laughs> we hope you're having a wonderful summer. And we're having a great time ourselves with WBBZ and Passionate Living out at the Bidwell Concert Series in Buffalo, New York. Also, we're at the Erie County Fair all week long. We're just having the most wonderful time meeting people who are living their passions. I'm here with Blake. Oh my God, I love, love, love your... It's like a roving piano. It's yes. like every lounge singer's dream to be able to take the piano and just roam around and sing. It is so much fun. Uh, I started doing that with them about six years ago in Orlando, Florida. Okay. Uh, it's called The Strolling Piano. You can find it anywhere on social media and all that. Go get, check it out for sure. But uh, it's, it's uh, okay. they, do, they do street shows, uh, weddings, um, all kinds of corporate events and everything, indoor or outdoor. So, oh my god, that's so cool. Lots of fairs and festivals and uh, Disney as well. So. And your passion for music, tell oh, me a little yes. about that. Uh, I've been playing piano for about 17 years now, I'm 24. Uh, I've grown up loving music and performing since I was 14. Wow. And uh, they invited me in to join the strolling piano when I was 18 years old. So. Wow, great job. Yes, thank you, I love it. I get to do what I love and make people happy and uh, you know, just spread the joy. I love, I love it. it. You get to, and our show is Passionate Living, which is, we highlight people living their passions and yes. using them to make a difference. And you get to live your passions every Absolutely. day. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. I always get up. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what are your names? I'm Cassie. Cassie? Mm -hmm. I'm Krista, mother-daughter. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about your passion for horses. Um, I don't know when did it start, when I was three. Um, That's and then pretty we, young. Yeah, and then we uh, bought our first horse, um, and then we kind of just collected children and created a 4-H <laughs> club. <laughs> well, that's a nice collection. You collect children and horses. Yeah. This is Ella. She is our mascot in our 4-H group. Hi, Ella. Little nice Ella was you. riding Daisy all day, right? Yes. She so our collect youngest. children. <laughs> She's our youngest 4-H member. Um, but yeah, this one said the word horse before she said mom or dad. She oh would drive goodness. down the road. So we knew that, you know, we had to pursue this passion through the love of our daughter. And she has been committed to she was a 4-H member she graduated out last year and now she is the leader of this club wow. that I was the leader of for years but then she took it over when she was old enough and we had about 15 kids in our group yeah. and um, yeah we it, it, the kids work from 
all year to be able to come to fair. Beautiful. Yeah, they have to do an educational part. They have to do what else? Educational part and um, public presentation, like public public speaking. Um, and then we, they have to attend a certain amount of horror shows to be able to come here. Well, thank you so much, you so both much. of you, for sharing with us today. Yes, anytime. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Four years, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah but, and you're third generation. I am, and my son is the fourth generation. Oh my god, so it's not stopping here, right? Four generations of doing fairs. This is amazing. Well, oh, you have a passion for it, clearly. We did. We aim to please, too. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this time of the year, these long days, you can get tired, but watching everyone come out and have a great time and really enjoy. We don't get this down in Florida this time yeah, of year, yeah. so it, the weather is uplifting. Long days, but. Um, so much good here that yeah. you can get through it. That's great. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, come out out to the Erie County Fair. And you know what you can do? Spin the wheel of summer fun. Spin the wheel of summer you fun. You land on Catherine Miller, your big winner, and Buzzy <laughs> Buffalo. That doesn't Look. sound right. That Let's does see. not sound right. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see you win prizes and you support prevention focus yes, on not for profit partner. Oh my god, you landed on Big Winner! I did. That was like so random. It wasn't fixed at all. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now they're not gonna believe us because we just landed on Big Winner. But come visit us at the fair, we're at the gazebo all week long. Dollar to spin, dollar to win. Experience Marban, Western New York's first and only social club exclusively for seniors. Our members receive daily hot home-cooked meals prepared by our caring staff. And our exclusive stylist comes in weekly for members to get their hair done. Connecting with others is one of life's greatest gifts. And days spent at Marban are fun for all of our members and comfort to their families. Call one of our directors to set up a private tour. We can't wait to meet you. I've actually tried to get out of the music making part, right? And, yeah, you had uh, mentioned, and that then you did that. just do the business of music part. Right. Can't do it. A uh, cannot. <laughs> Very unhappy <laughs> man. DNA. Uh, oh, can't cannot. I have to be creating music every day, every day of the week. I, I, wow. I'm in here uh, during the pandemic. I think we wrote 44 songs. Wow. And we started 48 others that aren't finished. <laughs> that was during amazing. the two and a half years of pandemic. You know, we did Shawn Mendes during wow. the during the pandemic. We did Hans Zimmer Dune, which wow. is hopefully going to win a bunch of awards. And, and the Oscar goes to Hans Zimmer Dune. Even being in the studio and having to be in a position where other people are going, no, no. Mm -hmm. You know, this needs to be done by this date. I don't care if it can't be done. You'll get it done by that date. And if you won't get it done, I'll get somebody else to sit in your chair. Yeah. And and you end up going, uh, okay, I can't make the school function. I can't make the parent teacher meeting. I won't yeah. be home until four in the morning. I won't, I will already be up and gone by the time they're up at seven and gone to school. Uh, you know, and yeah. you just go, that's, that's not a life. And, and it doesn't exist many other places outside of our industry. It's intense. And you get lost, too. Because, I mean, how many times have you probably sat down here and thought an hour went by and three or four hours went by? Oh, or just, 12. Or 12. You bet. You get caught I in just the editing that. zone and you're just... You're I just, just finished that. <laughs> you know, my Uncle Lionel 
my uncle Lionel's down there somewhere. Like, you know, oh, you just got, and Lionel was, was like the head of the music department at 20th Century right. Fox, who was really, get out the phone! Hey, moniker, get back to your chair! Like, he was one of those guys, right, right. you know, oh, now you can't talk to people the way those people talk. I know, you it was can. a whole different world. But we were there <laughs> yeah. and we listened to it and we took it and we we changed our behavior. Uh, so I'm a trustee on the local, the uh, American Federation of Musicians Local 47 here, which is all Great. the film music and okay. TV music. So we're trying to change some of that. The other part is being uh, an executive board member of the Society of Composers and Lyricists, the SCL Awards, which I designed. I, I love I, it. I had, I, I designed. You designed this? Oh, I does, it's designed this. I had the, the blocks. I found uh -huh. the blocks, the granite blocks. I had them laser etched. Uh, started with a piece of wire and then started like working with a 3D guy to make it into a film scroll and stuff. That's that's been an interesting project, but the Society of Composers and Lyricists is working really closely with the lawmakers to uh, try and improve working conditions. There, there are a lot of things Good. that aren't right for people who sit in these chairs. So all of the stuff that I have here, they're tools. Something where you can reach up and uh, touch a knob or a slider and actually inter have an interface, an immediate interface, right, right. right? Which is what I always loved about mini mogs and stuff and, and all that early Michael Jackson stuff. You know, uh, people would go, oh, can you just leave it? Yeah, and, and, yeah. and the bottom line is, no, you can't. Because when you play an instrument, it changes with every movement, every inflection, every, you move the bow a little <laughs> bit closer to the bridge and the whole tone changes. You have to, on electronic instruments, uh, you have to reach yeah. up and touch, touch things. to, you have to, to make have that happen. You have to have physical contact. Yeah. Can you play it? Oh, you know what? It's not even powered up. Uh, it's not powered up and it's not, oh, right. yeah, I got a kinetic. Yeah, sorry. Right. Sorry. sorry. I can excited. play you a song. I got excited. I can play you a song. <laughs> okay. Let's take a ride in the four-wheel drive for the night until the morning. This town will trace no sound Hit the ground without a warning I know right where we're going And, and I'm, I'm one of those guys who's, you know, Trying to trying to work until I can't make a decision anymore, and then sleep three hours and get up and do it again. You know that kind of long form mm -hmm. is kind of out of my life for right now. But this, right. the songwriting, seems to fit really nicely. This is, and I see you light up when that music came on and you were listening. It's like I saw you doing this. It, it's I I, <laughs> I, I, was, I, I love I love what Chase and I have been able to accomplish, mm -hmm. particularly during pandemic. We can get away. Wow. I'm 30, 37 years so, sober. Mm -hmm. And my drummer behind drugs and alcohol took himself out within the last two years. I didn't even oh, know this crap was happening I'm anymore. I'm so sorry. And, and I used, this kid was brilliant. I worked with him on all these tunes. Oops. He was teaching kids at UCLA, brilliant guy, and, and, but wouldn't talk. Wouldn't talk wow. about the bad, the the truth what about was what was going on deep inside. And yeah. and and that's one of the reasons I still go to AA every day. People say thirty seven years old, uh, thirty seven years sober. Right. Can't you do? You you don't have to go to meetings anymore. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do because uh, it's so, in there and you know it, and you don't ever want to. I don't want to forget. Oh, I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget I, what it was like. That's I what know. my life was like. I, That's what what right. what he went through was what my life was like. Wow. And being able to just go yeah. to certain people, go, you don't have to live like that. And yeah. it's devastating. Because, because they don't know there is a way out. There's yeah. a way to not have the pain. Right. Not to ignore it, not to uh, not to find something just to replace it right. with, but to work through it so that you don't 
have to have it overwhelm you exactly. all the time. You know, I love doing the show because I want to light people up. I want to remind them that they came here for something. Like you knew your passion right out of the box. And so many people do, but they they quiet it. They keep pushing it down. And my hope or is that they want to get a backup. Or they want to get a backup. Whatever you do, where are you, Where's Riri? The camera? Where There's are the you? Camera. There's one what, right whatever there. you do, <laughs> don't, don't get a backup. Don't get a backup plan. Burn <laughs> those bridges so you have nothing that you can do but go forward. That's whenever, I, whenever, I, I, whenever, I whenever that. I talk to parents and they say, yeah, but he wants to be a songwriter, but shouldn't he have a backup plan? No, <laughs> no, because you'll I, end up doing the backup plan I and you'll never do the music. You. I love but you. I, I love I'm you. Tell, I agree. I, I'm telling you. I agree a hundred percent. You know, it's, and that's one of my friends, Gay Hendricks wrote a book and, and the whole premise of it was that um, being good at something is the enemy of brilliance. Mm. Because if you're good at it, you'll keep doing it, or you might keep doing it, or you might just keep going on and on and on. And I'll tell you, it's it's the enemy of brilliance because you won't do the brilliance. Of us just being friends, but tonight it's different. Can't quite shake it, heading toward a different end. Maybe it's your black dress, gold chain necklace. Legs and high heel boots, style with your dark hair, hanging like it don't care, getting high. There's some young person out there watching, mm -hmm. or anybody, even if they're not so young. Mm -hmm. Their passion is music, mm -hmm. and they have never followed it because they've never felt confident enough. They, they, um, they're afraid. What would you tell them? Okay, so this is not a pat thing. Right. Because I get people who bring me their children all the time and say, my child can do nothing. So I figure he can do music. <laughs> and I just go, the kid's 22 years old. <laughs> what? You, you're going to start developing his ear for language? Right. I, I would have more of a message to the parents of small children. No matter what's going on in your lives, expose them to art. There are museums everywhere. Yes. There, you know, there are books. Expose them to music. Take there are the concerts Broadway everywhere. Plays. Broadway plays. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness! You have to do this before they're nine to eleven years old. It it won't do any good if their ear is shut at eleven years old to try to open it back up again right. because that's not the way human beings are built. The people who want to do music, you can enjoy music a absolutely up to all the way to your dying day. In fact, there's all those studies that they show now that people who have Alzheimer's, right? Memory right. problems, right. that the thing that they can remember is music. But enjoy, find something, find a Go to the community concert. Go to your local symphony and listen to it. Support your local master chorale. Buy some some old-fashioned CDs. <laughs> you know, go listen. Or records. L or vinyl. records, yeah. Vinyl. So, for those people in my experience, in my experience, you, if you, if you love it, you will love it. You will do it. You know, and if you want to do it bad enough, there's nothing that can stop you from doing it, period. And uh, if, if you want to do it to make a living, there will be a path that you can do it for making a living, but it is a lifelong commitment. It mm -hmm. is not, I'm going to go out and do this for a year and see if it works. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's I'm going to throw everything I've got into this 18 hours a day, seven days a week for decades. And then we'll see yeah. whether or not I'm successful or not. You know, it's not it's not like, you know, you can you can learn to be an attorney in in four years of college. Right. You can learn the law. You can't do that with music. Right. That no. that language has to have evolving. started early yeah. early early and be we're the only profession where you have to study something for 22 24 years before you start to make a living at it amazing thank you for stopping by thank you so much for having me.
Do you struggle with daily activities because of pain, anxiety, insomnia, or depression? Do you want to feel like yourself again without the side effects of prescription drugs? There's a fast, safe, and effective non-drug option available. AlphaStem is an FDA-cleared handheld medical device with no lasting side effects or risk of addiction. And it's proven effective by more than 140 independent clinical research studies over the past 40 years. Talk to your healthcare professional today about getting started with AlphaStem. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Archer and I am here with Mental Fitness Moment with Passionate Living. Today we're going to chat about back to school anxiety and how to combat that. Our kids are going back to school in a couple of weeks and sometimes, you know, some kids have not been in school for the past one and a half to two years or some kids are have been in school but it's been virtual. How do we combat that anxiety of returning back to school in person? Some ways to do that, we still have some time starting to have a conversation with our children about going back to school. What are their feelings about it? What are their anxieties? Addressing it, giving them that voice so that they can speak about it. Talk to them about what they think school is going to happen, what is going to happen, especially for our kids that, you know, um, when COVID happened, they were going to go into kindergarten. This is their first time going back to school or first time being in school. So they don't even know what it's like to be in a classroom with other students because for the past two years they've been at home on the computer. So that's one way is like really fleshing out their feelings, really seeing what they think school is about, giving, you know, giving them some idea having, and letting them talk about it. Maybe even watching like a YouTube segment of what it is to be in a classroom setting. Uh, talk to their teachers. So once we've talked to them, once we've got that, you know, that part out of the way of talking to them, letting them express their feelings, where they're at, um, if there is some anxiety, address it. You know, we can have those conversations and have it over time so that they get really comfortable with the idea. Start setting up a routine. I know the summer fun is great, um, but start setting up the routine of going to bed at eight o'clock. You know, kids really need their sleep for growth and development, and so they can be the best versions of themselves in the morning. So getting that sleep, setting up a, a routine for homework, bedtime, um, wake up time, uh, dinner, all that. So, but the, for the homework routine, setting it up where they have a space where they can do their homework, have a homework bin with all their supplies, whether it's crayon, pencil, pen, glue, calculator, whatever they may need, ruler, have it in one spot that they can use and have every time. So these are just a few things that we can do to try to get our kids ready for school and decrease the anxiety. And also for us, because if our kids are prepared or more prepared and, and feel more comfortable, then we can be a little bit more comfortable. Thank you for joining us today for this mental fitness moment. Thank you so much for joining us today on Passionate Living. Melissa, I had such a great time oh, doing this show with you so today. Did. So I did, so I did, so did I, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun, it's always so much fun with you, Kat. Uh, you know same with you, my sister. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for joining us every week on Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. and Sundays at 11 a.m. on WBBZ, your Me TV station, your true hometown station. Yes, yes. And Thursday nights now, we're doing a live stream at 8 p.m. on our YouTube channel which is passionate living TV mm. and you can go to our website passionateliving.com yeah I good. love what you said about back to school mm. God, I used to have so much anxiety I know school. everyone has anxiety so there's nothing wrong with that I remember yeah. when I was young had anxiety going back to school because it's something new something different yeah. and especially now so parents your kids are going to have anxiety. You're going to have anxiety. Follow some of those tips and let us know how it works. Go with the flow. Yeah, go with the flow. <laughs> Thanks again. And we have some great music you. for you today from some very special friends on Aww. the way out of the show today. So we hope you enjoy. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'm Tammy. I'm Jeff. And we love the Erie County Fair and we love Passionate Living on WBBZ TV.
girl You're going to buy Cause you know it don't matter anyway You can see money forever Get your true five See money